Let me tell you an easy way to capture a webhook response just in case if you are trying to experiment with some specific stuff. So what you can do is you can just click on create new workflow and you can just write webhook response. Okay. So the typical process to capture a webhook response is to copy this webhook URL and paste it inside your external software and then perform some action inside your external software so that the webhook response will come right here inside your workflow. But usually the process is a bit longer and if you really want to experiment with something it becomes a, a huge burden in itself. So let me tell you an easy way in which you can actually capture some data without even having to paste this URL somewhere. Again this is just for your testing purposes it is not something that will be uh, useful for production use cases but just in case if you want to test something out you can actually use the very same thing that I am just going to show you. So the very first thing that you have to do is you just have to copy this webhook URL and click on capture webhook response button right here. Then open up a new tab and just click on this specific link that we uh, just copied recently. Then click on question mark name is equal to Neeraj Agrawal. You can even use spaces in between. And then if you want to capture any specific data you can again write email is equal to this and city is equal to Delhi. Okay, so we actually have key value pairs, three key value pair. First is the name, name is Neeraj Agrawal. Second is email, email is this and then the city name is right here. Okay, so we are actually going to give three different key value pairs to this specific webhook URL. And once you do that, just press the enter button and you can see a response accepted message is showing up right here. Okay, which means that this specific response will be captured automatically and you can see the name is here, the email is here, the city is here. This means you can start to build your workflow through this random data that you actually published it from your end. Again, this is not for production usage. This is just to show you how you can actually have a webhook URL and webhook response at your end, even in cases where you don't really want to uh, add this webhook URL to some external software yourself. So I hope you will find this a small tip valuable for your public connect workflow. So thank you for watching this video.